Good evening, good evening. Hello, hello, good evening. Can you hear me? Hi there, is anybody there? Good evening, teacher. Hello, how are you? I'm fine, and you? I'm great, thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thank you, teacher. Excellent. So I'm going to give a minute. Um, let's wait for your classmates. I hope that they can connect soon. Okay, no problem. Is it raining in your city? Uh, a little bit. Okay. Yeah. Cool. So it's a fresh night. Um, I don't know because when uh just only a, a little little drops just freezing. Yeah, yeah. The the weather is warm. Ah, okay, all right. Yeah. So let's see, Carlos, how are you? Hello. Um, Good evening. Good evening. Uh, I think I'm fine. And you? I'm great. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Okay. Uh, uh, two days before I don't stay. Uh, the Tuesday because for the job. Mm -hmm. uh, yesterday, uh, because I have a problem uh, with the uh, Oriente. In the West? What? In the West. In the West. Uh -huh. uh, only listen. I'm sorry. Okay. It's uh, okay. Uh, today, I reviewed the video of the class, uh, but I don't, I don't, I don't how finish. finish ah, it. okay, but that is great. Always, guys, when when you cannot be in the class, try to review the class, try to review the topics that we studied. So the next class, you can have an idea what we are going to continue talking. So that's great. No worries. Okay. Very good. All right, who's next? I can see Osman. Hello, Osman, how are you? Hello, how are you, teacher? I'm great, and you? Um, I'm fine, too. <laughs> Excellent, how was your day? Uh, this day was easy, easy. I, I, I spent a lot of time in meeting, in meeting. Almost, okay. almost all day. <laughs> okay, so that was like quiet. It's, it's, it's tired. It's tired to be in meeting. I imagine. Yeah. Wow. Sleeping. Sleeping, right? <laughs> so okay. All fine. Okay, good for you. All right. Well, let's see, everyone. I can see only two people with the camera on. So thank you guys for keeping the camera on. Welcome, everybody. Oh, I can see Pamela already. Hello, Pamela, how are you? Hi, teacher. I'm great. And you? I'm great, too. Thanks for asking. Welcome to the class. Thank you. So, everyone, welcome. Uh, I know that in some cities it's uh, raining <laughs> right now. So I hope that the weather doesn't affect the connection, OK? Um, because today is Thursday, we are about to finish the week number three. three. So guys, two more weeks and it's over, okay? And you have to go to the next level. So um, we are going to start. We have a lot of practice to do today. And I can see some of your classmates are not here. Hmm. So guys, thanks so much for being on time. Remember that in the end, if you want to get the 100% of the attendance, you need to be connected the full class. That 
means 120 minutes. Um, when I check attendance, guys, not everybody connects 120 minutes. So be careful with that, please. Well, do you remember the topics that we uh, discussed yesterday? Yes, we do. Uh huh. What was the topic? Yeah. We want to uh, build uh, sentences with uh, uh, with the uh, what's the name using connectors. Ah, very good. So, exactly. Yes. So if you remember yesterday, we were trying to give details, we were trying to talk, but using connectors. So right. I expect guys, I hope you remember that because we are going to continue developing the topic. And of course, we are going to talk about some other things too. Let me start sharing the presentation. Uh, can everybody see the presentation? Yes. Yeah. All right. So today, guys, it's July 13th, and we are about to finish the week number three. So I hope everybody is working on the platform. So this is a topic that we are going to uh, discuss today. We are going to use connectors to express our opinion. Okay. So we are going to have some topics that we are going to discuss. And I want you guys to express what you think about it. So this is the class objective. I need a volunteer, please, for reading the class objective. Can I? Yes, please. Uh, class objective. Participants will be able to express their opinion in different topics using connectors. Thank you, very good. So that is basically what we are going to do today. But also guys, uh, let's try to remember what we were doing yesterday. If you remember yesterday, we discussed these connectors, that these connectors are not the only ones, but these are like the most common, okay? So yesterday we were describing our daily routine and we were trying to use as many connectors as possible. So the idea is to discuss both things, use connectors and practice simple past. Do you remember this activity? Yes. How many minutes did we talk yesterday? Yes, each other. Uh -huh. How many minutes? Do you remember? Two minutes. Two minutes, yes. So I know that because of the time, not everybody could do it yesterday. So we are going to continue today. So I want you to think about your routine. Think about what you did yesterday, okay? Thinking, I mean, I want you to give me as many details as possible and try to use as many connectors as possible, okay? Remember guys, we have all of this. You can use different sequence. Don't say only and, 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 no, let's try to use different ones. Uh, give me examples, give me more information, use contrast, okay? So try to use as many connectors as possible. You have to talk for two minutes, and look, this is just a daily routine. This is something that you did. So don't complicate yourself. Just tell me what you did and use the verbs in simple past, okay? So who wants to try? Who wants to be the first one? Okay, I can begin if okay. you want. Perfect. Okay, uh, let me set the timer. Okay. okay. Uh, yesterday, uh, first I woke, uh, woke up early. Uh, after that, I got up at 6 a.m. Then I took a shower, long time. Uh, 
because I like to be fresh uh, uh, in the morning. Uh, also, I had a breakfast together with my wife at uh, 7, 7 a.m. And uh, however, I didn't uh, have much time. I took uh, my dog for a walk and um, I went to work fast. Also, I forgot my lunch. <laughs> uh, and, um, and no, I believe uh, I, I worked hard enough uh, all, all the day and uh, I finished at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, finally, finally, I drove uh, home, but I forgot uh, to buy the dog food. Uh, and uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, watch TV too much isn't healthy. Then I, uh, I took my time uh, before I got uh, to bed. So I was tired, also I took a dinner uh, early. I think I was tired and I went to bed and sleep very well. Uh, I have a, a little more time. Yes, uh, Wait a minute, I want to look the, the sketch here. Then the, uh, I didn't, uh, I, I uh, cooked dinner. At... Time up. Okay, this is all. <laughs> okay. All right. So look at I this one. To. And you did it great. I mean, if you paid attention, he used a lot of connectors, right? I know that sometimes, guys, we are like, I don't know what else to say, right? But you can invent. So very good, Santiago. You did it great. You used a lot Excuse of me. There, there are many rockets here nearly because the, the charge, they celebrate something like that. I don't know but. Oh, really? I, but it, I you didn't speak. hear that. No, I don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no worries. But disturb me. Ah. I, I was too. Okay. okay, but no worries. Yeah, I cannot hear yeah. that. Okay, Santiago, pick one of your classmates, please. Excuse me? Pick one of your classmates. Who is going to be the next one? Ah, I think uh, uh, Pamela. Okay, so Pamela. But because I, I, I have the right. I, I, it's the next one. Yeah. <laughs> For me. Okay. okay. So Pamela, tell us about your day. Yesterday, what do you do? Well, yesterday I got up at 4.30 in the morning. Then I went to, to the gym to do my workout routine my my arm routine uh, after that i i went to to my office at 8 a.m in the morning uh, yesterday i was i was alone in my office because my co-workers um didn't go to the to the office so um, in the morning, I was uh, taking some meeting, meetings uh, and um, doing some uh, checking, some documents. Um, then after that, I have my lunch time at uh, 12.30 p.m. Uh, so I I ate my my lunch, and after that I took a little nap of a few minutes in the office. Uh, then I I came back to to work, and I had to I had to um. 
I had to left my office by a while to get some stuff for an event that we are going to have the next week. Time's up. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, pretty good. So can you take a nap at work? Or it was uh, during your lunch time? My lunch time. In uh, my lunch time. <laughs> okay, so I thought, ah, that's pretty great that you can take a nap. <laughs> Okay, very good. Again, so Pamela used a lot of connectors too, right? And she was using the verbs in simple past. Very good job. So Pamela, who's next? Um, next, Elias. All right. <laughs> Hello, Elias. Welcome to the class. Hi, it's good night for everyone. How are you? I'm fine, a little tired, but. But here you are, always. Yeah. Excellent, thanks for the effort. So Elias, do you remember the connectors? Yeah, uh, I'm uh, looking for the, the screenshots now. <laughs> and do you remember the verbs in simple? The another, yeah, that. Okay, yeah. so Elias, you had to talk for two minutes? Tell me what you did yesterday and use as many connectors as possible. Are you ready? Okay. Um, yesterday. Well, no. my Wednesday have a little stressful day because uh, in the morning we have a check uh, of our, our report and always <laughs> uh, have any problem um, sure i i try to um mini me uh, to have a sorry um uh, uh, Then in the in the morning we have a uh, 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 meeting um, with another uh, partners coworkers uh, that they are in another country and. Um, um, we have uh, a little problem and oof, <laughs> that's what a complicated day. Um, then in the lunch, we have a little rest. Uh, we we uh, ate a pizza and <laughs> and a lot of uh, love and think in another uh, ambient because uh, it's uh, our time for for rest. Uh, then in time the time. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, okay. That's more connector. <laughs> All right. So good. If you see, you talk for two minutes, right? I know that it's not easy, guys, when we have a timer. I think that when we are looking at the timer, it's like we lost uh, the ideas. But so far, so good. Try to practice more connectors, Elias, please. And okay. remember, in this case, guys, when I was listening to your classmates, the ones that just passed today, I could identify some little details that we need to consider, okay? What is the pronunciation of this verb? Work, worked. Worked, okay? In this moment, especially because we are online, we need to try to exaggerate the sounds, okay? Okay. Worked. Because remember, and this is for everyone, if I don't exaggerate the sound, if the other person doesn't listen to the t, so we are going to think that you are talking in simple present. Another details that I was listening when I was listening to your classmates, 
imagine that I said, ah, oh, yesterday I had to leave. Oops, let me do it here. So I'd had to leave. Is this sentence correct? What do you think? Be, uh, it's incorrect because uh, in this sentence, there are two verbs in past. Uh, we need uh, we need only only a verb in past, not two. So what would for be example, the correct one? For example, you, you, you can say, I have to leave. Mm, do you agree, the first, everyone? The first, the first verb uh, had to be in past tense. Okay, everybody, is that correct? Do you agree? Actually, it's correct. If you see, guys, there is something that you have to remember. What happens when I have the preposition to? The preposition to indicates infinitive. That means that the first verb is in past. But if I have the preposition to, that means that the second verb, it has to be in infinitive basic form so for example can i say ah yesterday i i had to went can i say that i had to went it's incorrect correct exactly we cannot say that what is the correct one i had to to go, to go. very good i had to go exactly and this can happen with different verbs for example, imagine if I say, I went to bought milk. I went, I went to buy milk. Ah, exactly. I went to buy. So remember that when we have the preposition to, that indicates infinity. Understood? Understood. Yes, yes teacher. Excellent. And what is the past? of have. have had so again we need to be careful with the ending sounds have. one sounds guys if you change only one sound the meaning of the world is going to change so imagine that instead of have i say had it's very similar but in english only one sound makes a huge difference. So be careful with the pronunciation, okay? Easy or difficult to talk in simple past? What do you think? I think that there, there are many verbs are easy, mm -hmm. but there, there are other verbs that are difficult. Yes, in this uh, case, it is true. That's why guys, Practicing the verbs is something that we need to continue doing, I mean, all the time. Not just because, ah, I am an intermediate level, uh, I don't need to review the verbs. No, at the contrary, we always need to review it, okay? So, um, are we ready to move to another grammar tense? Are we experts in the simple past or do you want to continue practicing? Uh -huh. What do you think? I think we need to practice more, teacher. <laughs> to practice more? Okay, everyone, what do you think? I, I mean, agree. Okay, I need to know your opinions because simple past is not a topic in the program, okay? I mean, in my calendar, it's not about the simple past. I'm just adding this topic because you asked me to practice it. So if you consider that you don't need more practice, we can avoid it. But if you want to continue, we can continue practicing today and tomorrow. That is the end of the week. So what do you think? Continue That's practice. It. Continue practicing? Today. Excellent. Okay. Yes, no we will, we will. Okay, so before continue everyone, I'm going to check attendance. So when you listen to your names, say present. Ana Lorena. Present teacher. Very good. Boris Alexander. 
Boris is not here. Okay. Carlos Alberto. Uh, he's listener, right? Sorry. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Okay. Edwin Antonio. Okay, very good. Um, Elias Neftali. Present teacher. Very good. Eulice Torres. Uh, he's listener too, okay. Um, Jose Salvador. No? Okay. Um, Jose Mangatilio. Present teacher. Very good. Kevin Alfredo. Well, he's not here, right? Okay. Nelson Alberto. Present. Okay. Osman Enrique. Present. Very good. Pamela Molina. Present teacher. Okay. Rafael Alexander. Present. Okay. Santiago Roberto. Santiago. Okay. And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Very good. Okay. So let's continue, everyone. Um, always discussing a little bit about the simple past. Let's see. Can you see the presentation, everyone? Yes. Yes? Okay. I have a couple of questions for you. Think about these experiences and tell me if you suffer something like this. Imagine this. You locked yourself out of your home. Did this happen to you one day? Yes or no? Have you ever suffered this situation that you locked yourself? Locked yourself out of your house means that you closed the door, but you didn't have the key. So you cannot open the door again. Have you ever suffered this situation? Yes, teacher. Yeah. Yes, teacher. In my case, yes. yes. I think that everybody, right? And what do you do, guys? I have to walk down out of my home. Okay. And when you forget the keys and you lock the door, what do you do? How did you open? Maybe I enter through the window. <laughs> ah, through the window. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh-huh, guys, and you? What do you do? Uh-huh, nothing? Okay, next one. You had a bad experience while flying. Have you ever suffered that situation? Yes. Yes, teacher. And what happened? Um, I do... Um... Five years ago, uh, I, I took a flight uh, to, to go to Nicaragua. Okay. And, and when, when I was uh, uh, in the world. In uh, the flight? In the plant. Flight. Uh, flying. In the plane. Uh, we, ha uh, we had a turbulencia. Turbulence? Very hard, very hard. Very really? Hard. Oh my God. Uh, everybody, uh, everybody was nervous, uh, crying, crying too. I remember a, a woman next to me, uh, she, suddenly she crying. She was oh, crying. Really? Was oh my crying. God. Yes. I, 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 I was very scared. Asustado. Scared. Scary, scary. Yeah. I, I, in, in this moment, uh, just I, I think this today is my last day. <laughs> this is the end, you yes, said. <laughs> yes. This is this experience experience it, it was real. Was real, teacher. Yeah, that's terrible. Very terrible. So, guys, how about in the public transportation? Did you had a bad experience? In public transportation, what do you think? Yes? No? All right. The next one. Everybody, try to participate, please. 
Um, you were in a traffic accident. This this happened to you guys? Yes. Really? In what my happened? case, in February, uh, I. Uh, how do you say chocar? Crashed. I crashed with a car that is um, across to the to the uh, street, and I crashed uh, over their car. Oh my gosh! But did you hurt yourself? Uh, did, did you suffer any injuries? In my case, personal injuries, no, but the car is very affected with the crash. Oh, I imagine that. Oh, my goodness. But yes. fortunately, you were okay. I mean, you didn't suffer yes. any injury. Wow. How about you guys? Have you ever been in a traffic accident? In my case, thanks God, I, I never had... Uh, this accident. Oh, that's good. Uh, if I accident, um, heart accident or just a little touch? Mm, accident is accident. <laughs> well, I think everything was in an accident. And and when did it happen to you? Uh, I crashed in. Integra integration. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, with my first motorcycle, uh, the the uh, drive the 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 man who uh, front of me uh, uh, stopped suddenly, and I can break on time. Oh. And I, I crash, yeah, with him. Oh my gosh. Uh, uh, I did a little touch. But you didn't suffer any injury? No, no, oh, that's only good. my motorcycle. And I feel <laughs> so sad for yeah, that. Yeah, I imagine. So yeah, it, it's pretty dangerous, right? Especially to ride motorcycles. I, I think that is a little bit more dangerous than driving a car. So be careful. <laughs> All right, interesting, interesting. Now guys, have you ever got stuck in an elevator? Yes? No? Did you, did you, what is the mean stuck? Oh, stuck? What's stuck? It's like you cannot skate. <laughs> so basically the elevator close and you cannot go out. <laughs> that is the meaning oh, of yes. stuck. Once, but uh, one minute only. Or, uh, it's just one, for one minute. minute uh, 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 the feeling, you know, is uh, strange. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't know, it's like a claustrophobia, you know. Were you, were you alone? No, 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 no. There were uh, more people there. Ah, uh, okay. It was a big one, and there are seven people like that. Oh, it, a lot of people there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not easy to 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 how to to manage uh, this feeling because uh, each people uh, uh, think and you know is uh, all is black is uh, uh, black. No, what's the name? The, uh, uh, without the light, without the light. Ah, uh, it was uh, dark. It's dark, you know. And, uh -huh. uh, all the people are uh, scared. So, no. <laughs> yeah, I imagine it's very panic. I mean, there are a lot of it's panic. panic. Yeah. yeah. And you guys, yeah. have you ever got stuck in an elevator? Yes. Never. Never. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I exp I hope you never suffer this. It is kind of weird. I remember once I got stuck in an elevator because the light went out, and you know that when the light went out, the elevator stopped working. <laughs> so I was alone, and I was panic. <laughs> oh. 
and I was praying God like please help me so it was pretty I was pretty nervous so it's a very difficult situation be careful and the last one guys have you ever found something valuable on the street it could be money oh, or an object a cell phone I don't know have you ever found something valuable I found 15 dollars 50 or 15? 15. Ah, oh, pretty dollars. good. And what do you do with the money? We ate two pusas. <laughs> uh -huh. It was a Friday. It was a good decision. <laughs> okay. Me too. I found the money, um, jewel, jewels, jewelry, and, and mobile phones. Oh, really? I'm lucky. I mean, all of these in the same day or in different? No, days? no. Uh, sometimes. Ah, so you are very lucky. Yeah. Okay. What do you do? <laughs> He's what, a stranger. What do you do with the cell phone? Uh, in uh, 4040. Ah, okay. Somebody missing the phone. Uh, and I... I sit in the in the in the sofa i don't know what is the name the correct name and the cell phone is was here <laughs> okay and what yes. did you do did you keep the cell phone or did you call to someone um i i keep the cell phone on and they call me and I regret the software. Return. You return. The return, return the software. Hey, very good. That's great. That's great. Uh huh. And you guys, have you ever found something valuable? In my case, teacher, I remember uh, I found only ten dollars. No, no, no more. Uh, was in a bus stop, a bus mm -hmm. station, bus stop. Uh, I, I, I. I spent there uh, around 10 minutes because my bus, uh, my trans, my, uh, the bus I, I want to get uh -huh. passed. But, uh, yes, but uh, uh, a child, a, a child get, 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 uh, get, 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 Arrived right, uh, next to you. Arrived next 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 me, and mm -hmm. I saw uh, he was uh, looking for something. <laughs> uh, it was a child uh, 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 around uh, fifteen years old. Uh, the 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 guy was very very sad because uh, <laughs> he lost her his money. <laughs> I, I think I had to gave 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 him. Do yeah. you return the money? Yes, yes, teacher, because the money. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was from a, a child. Yes. I, I thought that you would buy pupusas. <laughs> yes, only once, only once. It's only once I, I found money. All right, <laughs> interesting. So if you see, guys, in all of these scenarios we are talking about past events, okay? These things happen. Some people are very lucky actually, and they usually find different objects in the streets. So when we are talking about past events, now we are going to listen to some people. They will be talking about past events and they are going to tell us something that happens to them. I want you to pay attention to the audio and you have to tell me what happened. What happened to them? We are going to see the options. Can you see the options over here? Yes? Yes. So pay attention to the audio and you have to choose the correct answer. For example, in the conversation one, you had to tell me what happened to this person. If her car was damaged, um, she ran into another car, or her car got stuck, okay? So what happened? I don't know, you have to find it out. So we're going to listen to the audio, but in order to avoid interferences, guys, 
um, please keep your microphones off, okay? If you don't listen to the audio, let me know, okay? You can answer in your notebooks, and then we are going to see if your answers are correct or not, okay? So, um, oops, let me share the screen again, I'm sorry. Okay, pay attention, everybody. Here we go. One. It was a pretty bad snowstorm, and the roads weren't in very good condition. I guess I was driving a little too fast, and I went into a skid. I couldn't control the car at all. I went off the side of the road and into the snow. Luckily, the car wasn't damaged, and I wasn't hurt, but I couldn't get the car to move. I just had to stay in it and wait for the tow truck. Finally, after about half an hour, the tow truck arrived and pulled me out. Two. Yeah, it was pretty scary. We ran into a bad storm, and the plane really bumped around. The passengers were pretty scared, and of course all the kids were screaming and crying. It lasted for only ten minutes, but those ten minutes felt like an hour. I don't know how the pilot got the airplane out of that storm but he finally did, and the rest of the flight was perfect. Three. All I wanted was to get the newspaper. You know how some hotels leave it in front of your door in the morning? Anyway, I stepped out of the room to get it, but the door shut behind me. I tried to open it, but it was locked, and my key was inside the room. I was in my pajamas. Luckily for me, Someone from housekeeping came by, and she had a key. Four. We were staying in this hotel in Thailand when there was a fire. I was so scared when I heard the fire alarm go off. We got out of the hotel as quickly as we could. The hotel was badly damaged, and some people lost their clothes and money. Fortunately, we were lucky. No guests or staff members were injured. Five. I was out shopping with a friend when I saw some kids selling raffle tickets to raise money for a charity. It was for a really good cause, so I bought a ticket. I didn't think much more about it, but in the end, I won first prize. It was a good prize, too. A weekend trip for two to New York City. Six. I was at a restaurant with my wife when this famous movie star sat down at the table next to us. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to ask him for his autograph, but my wife said I should let the man have his dinner in peace. Later, when my wife was in the restroom, I asked the waitress if she would ask the movie star to sign my menu, and believe it or not, he did. Okay, could you listen to the audio, everyone? Yes? Yes. Yes, yes we did. Do you have the answers or do you want to listen it with two one more time? It's better if we uh, hear it uh, one more time, please. Yeah, okay. please. Yeah. All right. I'm going to play the audio one more time. Microphones off, please. Here we go. Pay attention. One. It was a pretty bad snowstorm and the roads weren't in very good condition. I guess I was driving a little too fast, and I went into a skid. I couldn't control the car at all. I went off the side of the road and into the snow. Luckily, the car wasn't damaged, and I wasn't hurt, but I couldn't get the car to move. I just had to stay in it and wait for the tow truck. Finally, after about half an hour, the tow truck arrived and pulled me out. Two. Yeah, it was pretty scary. We ran into a bad storm, and the plane really bumped around. The passengers were pretty scared, and of course all the kids were screaming and crying. It lasted for only ten minutes, but those ten minutes felt like an hour. I don't know how the pilot got the airplane out of that storm, but he finally did, and the rest of the flight was perfect. Three. All I wanted was to get the newspaper. You know how some hotels leave it in front of your door in the morning? Anyway, I stepped out of the room to get it, but the door shut behind me. I tried to open it, but it was locked, and my key was inside the room. I was in my pajamas. 
Luckily for me, someone from housekeeping came by, and she had a key. 4. We were staying in this hotel in Thailand when there was a fire. I was so scared when I heard the fire alarm go off. We got out of the hotel as quickly as we could. The hotel was badly damaged, and some people lost their clothes and money. Fortunately, we were lucky. No guests or staff members were injured. 5. I was out shopping with a friend when I saw some kids selling raffle tickets to raise money for a charity. It was for a really good cause, so I bought a ticket. I didn't think much more about it, but in the end, I won first prize. It was a good prize, too. A weekend trip for two to New York City. 6. I was at a restaurant with my wife when this famous movie star sat down at the table next to us. I couldn't believe it. I wanted to ask him for his autograph, but my wife said I should let the man have his dinner in peace. Later, when my wife was in the restroom, I asked the waitress if she would ask the movie star to sign my menu. And believe it or not, he did. All right. So do you have the answers? Yes? Could be. <laughs> Could be. I think so. Okay. Let's imagine that this is like a test. Let's see if you pass the listening test. Okay. In the number one, what happens to her? Uh, they yeah. have a, she has a, a, a bad word. She had a bad where a storm where her car got stuck or her car was damaged hmm. okay some of you say that her car got stuck so the letter c some of you think that is the letter a her car was damaged and the rest of you everyone letter c letter c her, got, letter her car got stuck on and on the snow but the stuck. are you sure yeah. With your life? Yeah. <laughs> ah, <laughs> I like that confidence. And you know what? That is the correct answer. Very good job. Hey. So that is the correct one. She was talking. Yes, the weather was terrible, right? But she just mentioned that the car was or got stuck. Stuck. Right? She couldn't move. She has to wait, but she couldn't escape. Because okay. she drove fast. Ah, very good. Yeah. So you see, guys, that's why you shouldn't drive so fast, please. So if you picked the letter C, that's the correct answer. Excellent job. Okay, let's move on to the number two. What happens to this guy? Um, B. Letter B. Everybody, do you agree? His plane flew into the bad weather. I agree. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Are you sure. The, the plane flew into a, a, a strong a strong storm. Okay. And she and they wait uh, ten minutes. Hmm. Okay, so let me tell you that the correct answer is letter B. <laughs> Very good. If you picked the letter B, check because it's correct. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's move on to the number three. Okay. What happens to her in the number three? Little C. Letter C. She Letter C. Locked out the door. Are you sure? Yes. She, she had the yeah. keys yes. into the, inside the, the room. She was locked out of the room. Yes, that is the correct answer. Yeah, very good listener, everyone. I like that. Number four. What happens here? He escaped from the fire. He escaped from the fire. Escape from the fire. Right. Yes, that's the correct one. Excellent. Very good. Very good. 
Okay, let's see the last one, five and six. What happens in the number five? Oops. Little A. He won, she won first prize. the first prize. She won the first prize. prize. That's correct. Excellent. And in the last one, what happens in the last one? Letter B. Letter B. He, he saw, saw a famous, famous person. person. Are you sure? Yeah. Right. Uh, at the, the restaurant, at the yes. restaurant. Yes, that is at the least. correct one. Because the wife uh, say that don't speak the people because <laughs> uh, they need to enjoy the dinner. Very good, excellent. So guys, imagine that this is your speaking evaluation. Did you pass the exam? Yes, did very well. Pass? Definitely, sure. Uh -huh. yeah. How did you feel the exercise? Easy or difficult? So, so interesting. Because, a little difficult. Uh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So the exercise, guys, is not easy. You are getting better. Okay. Wow. Yes. The teacher yes. is very well too. Also, <laughs> thanks. Okay, so it is important, guys. You have to identify your weaknesses and your strengths. If you consider, ah, oh, listener is pretty easy for me. All right, that's great. So identify the areas that are difficult for you. And those are the areas that you need to practice more. So if for you, listening is difficult, that is the ones that you need to practice more. And um, this is like a TV commercial, but just in case that is useful for you, this is a nice website that you can use. I always recommend this website to my students, the ones that feel that the listening is difficult. The name of the website is English Practice. Um, and the pretty good thing about this website is that you can find different levels since the very basic until the more advanced levels. And I recommend this website for the listening. Mm, the grammar and readings are good, but this website, it's much better for the listening. So you just have to click, imagine that you right now, you are intermediate. So I recommend you to practice the B1 or B2. So you just have to click here in the option that says listening. You click there, close the publicity, and then you will find guys a lot of different topics. Look, all of these ones. And you just have to pick the ones that you consider is interesting for you, okay? So imagine that you have some free time and you want to practice some topics, for example, past events. Now that we are practicing simple past, click in there, right? And then you will find different listening exercises, okay? So you can practice listening, you can try to understand the exercise, answer the questions. And the good thing is that in the end, you can check if your answers are correct or not. And also you can see the transcript of the audio, okay? I'm going to send the link on WhatsApp, well, here um, in the chat on Zoom. And if you consider that this is a website that can help you, I mean, you can use it, okay? So I'm going to send it in the chat when you have free time. And if you want to practice listening, you can do it. Got it? Okay. Any questions about Thank Simple you, Past? Teacher. You're very welcome. Any questions about Simple Past? Yes? No, yes, it's okay. Very good. Okay, remember tomorrow we are going to continue practicing Simple Past. The idea guys is that we can be experts talking in past. Now, let's continue with the topic that we had for today, that is expressing opinions, okay? Do you know that sometimes people ask some questions that are a little controversial, but we need to express what we think about, okay? When we are expressing opinions, there are some phrases that we can use. When I share with you the connectors, 
we checked some expressions that we can use. You can say, I think, I believe, based in my experience, uh, in my opinion, but we can use some others. Another op options or another phrases that we can use if we want to express opinions are the following. For example, the most common is, in my opinion. So for example, you can say, mm, in my opinion, it's better to take the bus than the train. Or you can say, mm, in my opinion, coffee is better without sugar. I don't know, you can say your opinion. Another phrase that you can use is, mm, personally, I think. This is like to say in my personal opinion, right? So you can say, mm, personally, I think. So imagine if I ask you guys, what do you think? Which one is better, dogs or cats? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Personally. Please, the, uh, the, the, the question. Which one is better for you, dogs or cats? Personally, I think uh -huh. the dog. The dogs, why? Um, in my opinion, is I like the dogs, uh, nothing special, mm. but, uh, but the cats, uh, I don't know. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you don't like them. What? You don't like cats. You don't like cats. <laughs> ah, okay. And you guys, what do you think? Cats in, or dogs? In my opinion, dogs. dogs is better than cat because I think that the cat are more no are noiser and go to over the how do you say techo roof wrong in the night <laughs> it's very that's true stressful. <laughs> okay they don't yeah, in, sleep in my in my opinion uh, dog uh, uh you can trust mm. more than uh, uh, a cat uh, i think both are they have a feeling but a uh, cat, I don't like cat, it's clear, <laughs> clear but a uh, cat, they can run away. Uh, they, they are selfish. Ah. They can, uh, yes. They, they are not uh, loyal. Right. Ah, all right. So you see, guys, you're expressing your opinion. Now, another phrase that we can use is, I believe that. Okay, also you can say, mm, I feel that. Or look at this one. Mm, I will say that, for example, imagine, let's talk about a very common topic, <laughs> pupusas. Um, which pupusas are better, corn or rice? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Corn pupusas or rice pupusas? I would say that the corn is better. Why? Um, I I like the taste. Okay. More Very than good. the rice. Yes. Sounds good. And you, everyone, rice or corn? I will say that the corn is better because when uh, the food, pupusas, is called the texture is uh, hard and I don't like. <laughs> That's a good point. Anyone else? Which one do you prefer? I will say that the pupusas I prefer the, the rice 
because I put in the fire uh, <laughs> the pupusas, uh, the left toast. <laughs> ah, yes. I like that one. Like the crunchy dog. Yeah. <laughs> I like that too. Very yeah, I, good. I will, I will say that uh, it depends on the, each flavor and taste. Mm -hmm. And taste because uh, uh, sometimes uh, uh, it's uh, I think it's uh, well the the corn or the rice is uh, I like both. You like both, okay. Right. So you see, again, you are just expressing your opinions, guys. We are totally different people. We can think differently. All right. Another phrase that you can use if you want to express your opinion is "in my view" or mm, "frankly speaking." So you can say, imagine if I ask you, okay, guys, um, which is a better destination, mountains or the beach? So you can give your opinion and you can say, mm, in my view, mm, I think that the beach is better because you can swim, you can take the sun, you can eat seafood and da 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 da. Or you can say, well, you know, frankly speaking, I consider that the mountain is better because the weather is cold. You can have a very quiet place. Uh, you can drink coffee or chocolate. You can have a nice view, all right? All of these phrases basically, guys, means the same. They are just used to express your opinion. Got it? Is it clear? It's clear. Okay, I need you to copy, please. Did you copy the expressions? You can take screenshots or you can copy them because we are going to use them. Copy the expressions, please. Let me know when you're ready. Okay. Right. Ready? Yes? No, wait a minute. Okay, no worries. Go ahead. Copy the phrases, everyone. We are going to use them. Remember that the idea is to learn more vocabulary so instead of saying just, ah, I think, I think, I think, no, let's just stop saying I think and let's use more phrases, okay? Copy, copy the phrases, please. Let me know when you finish. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Uh, and you repeat this frankly speaking. Okay. Frankly, guys, what do you think? Have you ever seen that word before? Frankly? It's uh, yes, like a comment. Yes, this is like when we say francamente, con franqueza, right? So it's just when you want to express a very concrete opinion, right? Especially when you feel very confident about it. So for example, you can say, frankly speaking, I think eh, El Real Madrid is better than Barcelona, right? <laughs> so you care? Frankly Always. Speaking. Yes, right? Ah, very yes, good. Yeah, yes. <laughs> really? <laughs> Extra points for the ones that agree with me. If you are team Barcelona, mm, pointless. Lines. <laughs> Point, pointless in the homework. evaluation. Yeah, extra homework. You had to stay connected after the class. <laughs> okay, everybody, did you copy the expressions? Yes? Yes. Yes. Okay, now let's practice them. I have some questions over here. And I just wanted to answer these questions, guys. Give your opinions and use the expressions that you copied. 
Now, we know that we are different, okay? So respect your classmate's opinion. So for example, what kind of art is more, is the most interesting you can think? Hmm, if we are talking about art, remember the art can be expressed um, in different options. So in your opinion, guys, which one is the most interesting? What do you think? Mm -hmm. Pictures, paintings, drawing, music, even movies are considered art. What do you think? Sculptures? Frankly speaking, teacher, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, for me, it's the, song, it's the music. Very good. So don't forget to express your opinion as your classmate did. And we need to add the reason. So why? Why do you think that music is the best one? Mm -hmm. Oh, because it has uh, so many rim, rims, uh, rim, rhythms, rhythms, rhythms. And different art artists, and we can we can hear uh, in every every place. All right. So imagine, guys, if you agree with your classmates, what can you say? Like, estoy de acuerdo. How can we say that? I agree. I agree. I okay, agree. I agree. Mm -hmm. I agree or yeah. I am agree. I, I agree. agree. I agree. I agree. Exactly. I agree. Right? So again, respect your classmate opinion. If you agree, perfect. Hey, I agree with you. Personally, I think that ta, 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 and you continue talking. If you don't agree, uh, no problem. You can say, hey, that's a good point. And then you can say your opinion. Frankly speaking, I think da, 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 da. okay? So the idea is that right now, everybody give your opinion about these questions and don't forget to explain the reason why. Use the expressions. That is the purpose for this activity. Understood? Yes? Yes. Okay. yes. Excellent. Okay, I'm going to send the questions on WhatsApp groups. So you can practice with your classmates. Give me a second. I want to everybody enter to the breakup rooms, please. I want to everybody participate. Remember guys, we need to practice speaking every single day. I'm sending the questions on WhatsApp groups. Let me know if you can see the questions. Yes, can you see them? Can you see the questions, everyone? Yes. Yes. Yes, teacher. Excellent. Okay, let me just open up the groups. One second. Um, I think that we have a lot of listeners. So one second. Mm -hmm. If you are in a group where nobody is practicing or nobody is giving your opinions, tell me please so I can switch you to another group. Okay, everybody, let's go to practice full English. Okay, let's go. Always. No French, no German, no Spanish, only English, please. Thank you, exactly. You are sad. Hello. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi, Rafael. Hi, guys. Hello. Okay. How are you? Fine, fine. Okay, uh, I can share the the picture if you want. Do you agree? Yes, Definitely. Okay. Rafael is sleeping. <laughs> I have a 
very tired day. I was Ted, can you see that? The one o'clock. Yeah. Sorry, man. Huh. Okay, number one. What kind of art is most interesting? The art of money. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. It's art. Somebody, somebody want uh, somebody alguien tiene que decir. Also spend the money is a art. <laughs> Come on. Explain, explain. Okay, okay explain your answer, Rafael. <laughs> um I think is is really difficult uh earn money and yeah mm -hmm. and that's an an art mm, no not is common uh the person who have a uh, money really that's all. Okay. Um, in my view, uh, let me see. Sing uh, the singers uh, make art always because uh, they need to create the song in into their their mind and then uh, transform what sorry sorry Go. Uh, and they and then transform the song uh, with the with the uh, with the uh, music and com combine with the music to make uh, an art or to create maybe yeah to create an art it's my opinion <laughs> Anna um in my opinion uh, the fast cars are art art and i believe that when yeah. you stay behind to the mall and maybe is a wonderful um, emotion <laughs> uh, how do you say sensation i don't know it mm. Feeling? Uh -uh. Mm. It could be a feeling. Yeah, it could be. Uh, maybe you feeling good. Could love the speed. Yes. <laughs> you love, sorry. You for love the, the speed. For this reason, I crush. Uh -huh. uh, okay. Like <laughs> Temerary driver. <laughs> yes. Dangerous <laughs> girl. Crazy drivers. Okay, next. <laughs> Wilber, Wilber. Me, uh, I feel that everything we can do, it's an art, uh, because the 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 describe of the uh, of the art is uh, something uh, you can do it, but uh, now not everybody do what you can do i don't know if you cannot understand me i mean okay. i can do i cannot do uh, what uh, rafael does i yes, cannot do true. what nelson does uh, you cannot do what i do do you understand me yeah I got so, it. Your idea. So the art is something, something like that. Uh, it's an art uh, when somebody 
that's that's okay. what you can do um, uh, I understand that maybe when you can um, obtain your goals maybe yes yes when, when you get your goals uh, uh, and you can do it better than yesterday it's an art because you you are improving but uh, you can do what I what I can do and 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 I can do what you can I don't know I think we are in answer the 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 question when that is art but what kind of art is most interesting for you mm, sorry mm. I think I agree with Nelson. Uh, I heard, I I watch some videos of different situation. Is and the the view the actor in the movie is different uh, with the person in the uh, in your life. It's very interesting and more more uh, education for me. Uh, this uh, this uh, part the the documental the Morgan Freeman, I like you. Is for me the more than the great actor. Yeah, it's in this case. And the other artist in music, uh, I like your music. Um, uh, um, I prefer the the dead uh, Freddie Mercury. Oof, is the 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 single. Oof. <laughs> Uh, uh very very quality the the different for the the, the single um uh, no rock is the different different uh for the single and in this day the music is different i know no reggaeton for example for me i don't like you and uh Music band, no, no more. Um, in this, uh, this epoch and ochen, the uh, eighteen seventeen, uh, different music. Unlike you, the the epoch, the epic moment, the music. And my favorite artist in music is Freddie Mercury. Okay, the same. Great. For me. Because with respect to Morgan Freeman, he's a great actor. Yeah. Salvador. Mm, I uh, agree with you. I believe that exists different art and everyone are interesting. For example, I believe that the music was created for a duration to get. It's a form uh, for medio de lo cual we can Stay near of the Lord. I I believe that that exists different thing, interesting, and all day nos nos enseñan. We learn that nos that que nosotros we we nosotros fuimos creados we were we were fuimos creados we were create for God and for Dios y para Dios es lo que quiero decir. 
for well, that. Well, yeah. For I'm God, late, God please. God. <laughs> Good. Uh, the next question, because the time, uh, do people in your country prefer prefer to read books or watch movies? Um, well, <laughs> in El Salvador, uh, many people prefer watch movies than than read books. Um, only no five. Uh, maybe seven person that I know they love uh, read, but many, many, many people prefer watch movies. Um, <laughs> and also I, I prefer watch movies because I don't really much time to, to rest and it's more, <laughs> it's more easy, it's more, it's more funny. But, uh, sorry, uh, but, um, sure, I think that is more educated, ed educated, it's more educative to read book, to read a one book than watch one movie. And how, how do you think, guys? In my case, uh... Uh, in the country, uh, the recent the culture, uh, the real books. Uh, I think to dedicate to this uh, all the time, and the parents had to to work for for take money for the family. So I think this model of education may maybe can be a, a good option, but here in El Salvador, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I think also I think when the child or children uh, are in our education at home, the problem is the uh, the parents had to take the role like teacher, but you know, uh, it is, it's not. It's yeah. not. Uh, in, I, believe, I believe that uh, it depends on the culture uh, and yes. discipline of the yes. parents. Yes. Uh, uh, if in El Salvador, uh, you have people that uh, don't read, uh, you can have, uh, on the, the 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 students, they can uh, pay attention with teacher. How can uh, we do with when they are alone at home? Hey, classmate. They can, oh, uh, yes, uh, I know. Uh, it's only you can do it only with the the uh, the the parents are a uh, high educate and disciplined. There are, there are they some... are uh, they are uh, the name they are uh, uh, enterprise they they are uh, uh, they have a uh, a uh, 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 como se dice uh, they are own company and they can manage the time. Yes, yes. Well, well, they can do it. I know people, they can do it. Also, also, I, I think something. Uh, don't forget, there is something very important. Uh, uh, on, uh, for, for, the, for the people. When you are young or child, you make friends. It's important make friends when you are children or, or, or young. Or yeah, but, but there are many people that are, uh, they play some sports and they make another thing and they study at home. Yes, you can, you can find yes. some activities yes. for, for the, for the, 
for the kids to to like Osman say, says uh, to so socialize with other with other yes. kids. Yeah, you yeah. They, they are concentrate focus in what they want. Huh? They want to play yeah. tennis, and they play tennis with the the guys. And then yeah. uh, at home they learned uh, along with the parents. Yes, you you can. Yes, in, in my opinion, the people watch television Seriously. or distract their minds or a problems or the or destroy the mind only that. Okay, in my case, I don't see a series, mm -hmm. but uh, I don't see a television, but I believe that the series help to people to forget um, a stressful day or maybe open your mind or maybe enjoy uh, rest in, in his or her house. Only that. <laughs> I agree okay. with did, Lorena. Did, did you watch a, a series television when you was child, Anna? Yeah, maybe a cartoon. Yes. Did you watch Heidi? Ah, uh, no. Uh, okay, it's the problem. <laughs> I only remember uh, uh, I saw. Eh, Simon y Pumba, La Pantera oh, Rosa, yes. The Pink Panther. South Park. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> only that. Ah, uh, maybe Looney Tunes. Looney Tunes. Yeah. Only That's that. I, I don't see television. But, but now? I don't, why don't see television now? Why? Yes, why? Maybe I don't have time. And it's not uh, necessary for me, maybe. Uh, for this reason, maybe I don't uh, make a time for for it. What do oh, you okay. doing for for um enjoy your free time? I don't have free time. I. Okay. Wake up, uh, maybe say 6 p.m. I go to the job maybe 7 uh, a.m. Sorry, and oh. I work all day. I return my house to um, 7 45 minutes and 8 to 10 p.m. Mm. We are here ah, in class. <laughs> I think you play with your dog. Stressful life. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> what, Sorry, what do Rihanna. you do on weekend? I uh, see. I feeling identified because I don't have a time. <laughs> to, and I don't like the TV. But um, I think it's, it's necessary to have a. Uh, at time, I mean, uh, I don't, I don't, I'm not looking for the television all day, but uh, 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 I don't know how to say this trial, like you said, the mind for a little moment, losing your mind <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, me, and me? you need a beer for that. <laughs> <laughs> in my uh, develop, uh, development the, the children but the four four years in more years I think good I, another uh, opinion in my view I think that that children need learned principles of 
your your parents at home because is in home where we not, we have the fundamentals of all the life i believe that is important to educate children at home siendo nosotros los padres un ejemplo Thank you. Uh, another opinion for pass to the next question. No, for me, I covered the opinion. It's really the next question. Okay, number four. Why do people watch television series? Wow. Depend the. That person, do you like the different series, the action, terror, drama? <laughs> um, for example, for me, I like the um, the series and on movie, the action, science fiction, and the the action really, <laughs> the star, for example. And you guys? Yeah, in my view, um, when I when I watch a series, I looking for a history, one history that can introduce introduce me in in the in the in the in that world. Uh, for example, Game of Thrones. Um, maybe, um, what is the last, uh, are you, are you watch I'll send Rome? You are, House are of you... the Dragon. What? House of the Dragon. Ah, like, like that, like that, yeah. <laughs> but I don't like a series about drama or or um, like a drama, uh, not this my type of of series. Next, okay. yeah, my opinion. I think to watch series. I think is my opinion. Uh, I lost the time, uh, and the, personally, I like the series, but I don't watch uh, I don't watch. All right, time's up. We are going to wait for everybody to go back to the main room. All right, all right, time's up, time's up. Okay, did you practice speaking today? Yes, yes. Uh, teacher. Ah, interesting answers. I was listening to 
in some groups I was listening to a debate. I thought, oh my goodness, they are going to fight. <laughs> All right, let me ask you, did your classmate answer the question using the phrases, using the expressions or opinions? Yeah. Yes, teacher, a yeah. lot of expressions. Of course. Yeah. Did your classmate give a lot of details? Actually, yeah, I was listening that you guys, you were talking a lot and that's what I like. Very good. Now, did your classmate um, <laughs> speak in Spanish? Never. Never? Never. Never, oh, never. <laughs> don't lie to me. Don't lie. My classmate. <laughs> that don't know the spanish <laughs> oh, really <laughs> yes <laughs> okay that's great okay listen i really like guys the way that you are developing your speaking skills i feel that if we compare <laughs> this speaking with the first speaking that we had in the first week i mean today you are speaking a lot i feel that you are getting confidence and that is something that i like and you see, guys, that's why it is so important to have speaking every single day. Okay, so you're doing a great job. I really liked it. You are giving details. I know that sometimes uh, there are some words that we don't know how to say them. And that's why I listened. I listened to some words in Spanish, little details in grammar that we need to continue practicing with. But guys, honestly, you are doing a great job, excellent. Now let's see let the little details that we need to continue practicing too. Um, for example, negative sentences. If I say, no is common, hmm, what would be the correct one? No is common, is that the correct order if I want to say negative sentence? It's not common. It's Very not common. Good. Yeah. Exactly. So we say is not common. What not happens common. here, guys, is that sometimes we say exactly as the way that we should say it in Spanish. In Spanish, we say no es común. <laughs> so mm -hmm. that's why we say in English no is common. But remember that is not the correct structure. We say is not common. Okay. I listen to Spanish. <laughs> Look at this one. Alguien tenía que decirlo. How can I say that in English? Somebody has to say it. Yes, somebody had to say it. Okay, so please, no Spanish. Um, fuimos creados. That is a Spanish uh, thing. We were made. We were made. We were created. Okay, both are possible, so mm, no Spanish. Can I say seven person? With S in persons. Mm. People, sorry, people, sorry. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so remember that seven is plural. Person is in singular. Persons doesn't exist. So the Person. correct one is? People, some people. People, exactly. Seven people. people. Okay. They love to read. To read. Ah, very good. They love to read. Okay. People prefer to watch, watch movies. To watch, to watch movies. To okay. watch movies. Excellent. Always, guys, separate the verbs. Um, I listen to this. More easy, more funny. Easier, funny. Easier. Ah, easier. Short easier. adjectives. Funny. Yeah. And this one? Funnier. 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 Okay. Funnier. Very good. Now, uh, what is the pronunciation of this word? Important. Okay. Where is the stressed? Can I say important? Important or important? Important. 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 Uh, so important. the stress is important. important. Okay, look. There it's is important. the stress. Pronounce it. Import. Important. important. 
Important. Important. We, we don't say important. Mm -mm. Important. 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 Okay. important. okay. Se me fue la palabra. <laughs> I, I like I, this one. I uh, lost the word. I lost the word. The word say the me bye-bye. I forget, <laughs> I forget the word. In this case, in this case, remember that we cannot translate it like literally, right? Se me fue la palabra. If you say something like the word is gone, the word is lost. It's gone the word. I it's forget the word. the word. It will be like kind of confusing. So the best one is just I forgot the I word. I forgot the word. Yeah. Exactly. As simple as that. I forgot the word. So if you or see guys, oops, sorry. Considering that all the questions that we practice, considering that you were talking a lot, the kind of mistakes that you had, I mean, they weren't so much, right? I mean, not so many mistakes. Yes, we have some sentences that we need to continue practicing, but little details, guys. So you see, you are doing a great job. Don't you feel that you are speaking more than some weeks ago? Yes or yes. not? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. That's why we need to continue practicing speaking yeah. every single day. Just keep in yeah. mind something. And this is something that you have to keep in mind from now and forever. <laughs> the people who practice more, what will happen? They speak better. Learn more. Exactly. <laughs> they start early. <laughs> So if you practice more, guys, I know that because of your job, you don't have enough time. I was listening uh, to some people that they never have free time. Sorry. Uh, fr fr frankly speaking, uh -huh. frankly speaking, I can say that uh, I didn't have uh, much time to connect me, but okay. I see right now the big difference between the, the guys, the friends uh, that they are in the last uh, uh, course mm -hmm. or right now in 15 days. So they are I can tell you. You see, I, I yeah? am the, 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 the evaluator here. <laughs> no, but uh, I think I congratulate all the, all the guys. Yes, you are doing great. And the teacher, I say the teacher because I see you are eloquent and you are motivated. Extra points for me. <laughs> right. All right. No, but honestly, guys, so remember that. And this is not for only this level. This is for the rest of the levels. Oh, Always practice. Practice in the class. Uh, if the teacher asks a question, always try to answer. Even if your answer is not correct, even if you make mistakes, guys, it doesn't matter. Talk. When you talk, you practice when you talk you get confidence and you are going to improve now we are going to continue giving your opinions i have prepared some scenarios for you and i want to listen what do you think about it but first i'm going to check attendance again so please guys when you listen to your names say present ana lorena present teacher very good Boris alexander okay i think he's listener okay um, Carlos Alberto, I think he's listener too. Carlos Ernesto. Present teacher. Very good. Edwin Antonio. Oh, he's listener too, I'm sorry. Um, Elias, Naftali. Present teacher. Thank you. Eh, Eulice Torres. Okay, very good. Um, Jose Salvador. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Osman Atilio. I'm here. Very good. Let's see, Kevin Alfredo. Present. Very good. Um, Nelson Alberto. I'm here. Very good. Osman Enrique. Present teacher. Okay. Eh, Pamela Carolina. Present. I don't know why, but for me, it's so difficult to say Carolina. I don't know why. I had always that problem since I was a kid. <laughs> so Carolina is always difficult for me. Okay. Um, Rafael Alexander. Present teacher. Very good. Santiago Roberto. Present. Teacher. Very good. 
And Wilber Alberto. Present teacher. Excellent. Okay, let's continue giving your opinions. We are going to see, guys, your point of view. We are going to have a mini debate, but please be respectful, okay? It's not a battle. You don't have to fight. Let's have a mini debate, okay? I want to see your opinions. I have prepared different topics over here. Which one looks interesting for you? Pick a topic. Horror. Horror, <laughs> okay. Pay attention in the questions. Are horror movies okay for kids? What do you think, guys? Definitely, sure. <laughs> <laughs> no opinion no. Uh, is good. Okay, okay, one by one. Who, who wants to start? Rafael, do you want to start? Um, click yes or no to start timers. No, it's the Nelson wants to start. Nelson. <laughs> okay, Nelson, what do you think? Are horror movies okay for kids? What's your opinion? Okay, really no. Because this... Mm. The... Okay, hold on. Really not. Let's see if that phrase is here. Really not? Uh, mm -mm. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay. Again, again. Again, action. <laughs> uh huh. Uh, the presentation. Okay, okay, okay. Honestly speaking, and uh, no, because this kind of movies uh, makes uh, sense. I don't know if it's correct. Make uh, different sense. I uh, that scar in the kids. And the kids uh, grow up uh, with this uh, with these uh, fears, and it's only a movie. But uh, when when they was a child, they I don't I don't they don't don't know. Mm, okay, so in your opinion, they are not okay. Not. No, Ooh. definite, definitely no. <laughs> All right, thank may, you, Nelson. May I say something? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, uh, the question is: Are horror movies okay for kids? Uh, mm -hmm. I think they are not suitable for children, or not adequate, because uh, it distorts reality in their lives. Uh, when they grow up. Uh, afraid and it makes them uh, uh, insure, uh, insecure. Okay. And that is not uh, well for uh, society, society, for the education, because they they don't know that is a movie. They don't know that the movie is not real. Ah, okay. So I have two people that they say no. Remember that this is a debate. So I need some people that says yes. Uh huh. My opinion, teacher. I think the no, uh, Why? because Why? The because the children uh, they they have to scare in the night or the in the dark. Mm hmm. Uh, or when they have two dreams, uh, the the mm, they wake up uh, lying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, so, yeah. So they can get scared, especially at night. Yes. Anyone else? Anyone here consider that horror movies, yes, they are okay for kids? Anyone? Hey, also, I want to say they can, a, a kid, they don't know about the life, they can have uh, the wrong, uh, they can choose the wrong way. Because be. it's a movie, yes. All right. They, they okay. Okay, so. My I think my, nobody says yes. Uh huh. Tell me. My son just passed by. <laughs> uh, 
and and watched the picture. And he got and, scared. And told and told he face to me, and he got and he got a scared. Oh my and he gosh. went. Uh, <laughs> he's passing by watching. Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry. Okay, you are giving your opinion. That's excellent because you are using the expressions. Be careful with some details. I'm going. I'm taking notes of the details that you are mentioned, and I listen to these. They was. Can I say they was? No, they, they were. Ah, they were. They were. Um, imagine if I'm talking about night. Can I say in the night? At night. Ah, At night. prepositions. Okay, if I'm talking about dreams, okay, but I'm talking about bad dreams. Dreams sounds like positive, good dreams, but if I'm talking about the bad dreams, how can I say them? Nightmare. Yes. Nightmares. Nightmare. Okay. Nightmare, Nightmare is like bad. Okay. Yeah, nightmare. Exactly. Right. Very good. <laughs> have, have you ever had nightmares after watching a horror movie? Yes. When I was yes. a child. <laughs> when you were a kid. Okay. All right. So in this case, the correct, I mean, the winners are not, right? Everybody thinks that. Horror movies yeah, are not okay course. for kids. Yes. Okay. Let's switch the topic. Another topic that catch your attention. TikTok. TikTok. Come okay. on. Do you, okay. Let first let me ask you. Do you have TikTok on on your cell phone? Let's be honest. No. 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 I just have English apps. It doesn't catch my attention. Yeah, I don't have TikTok uh, uh, in, in, in my app, but I can sometimes I can I, I can see I can watch that. <laughs> ah. But sometimes because they when they send me in WhatsApp, I, the I video. open that and okay. I can see that. I can watch. Uh -huh. in, in my case, uh, I, I don't have and I don't like TikTok. I prefer Duolingo. <laughs> ah, okay. I hope you are not lying. <laughs> okay. Yes, I believe yes. you. It's the true I picture. It's the true. Ah, okay. Okay. So let's see what TikTok says. Okay. Should TikTok be banned? Do you know what is the meaning? Banned? Yes. Censurado. Yes cancel so people cannot use tiktok anymore that is the meaning for band okay everyone what do you think yes or no i need to everybody participate please the ones that are not talking let's talk so everybody talks please the one who hasn't participated do it should tiktok be banned yes or no what do you think i believe that no why because uh have some maybe videos uh with information maybe right for a string for uh, the contain but it's not necessary ban it for completely mm, okay that's a good point that's a good point okay i'm going to pick individually because I want to everybody talk. Let's yes. see. Elias, I haven't listened to you, Elias. What do you think? Um, in my view, I think that well, in my view, TikTok is a good platform, a, a good red so, media red social social uh, network. Social. Red, red social network. Thank you. Uh, but um, sure, depends of the use we dare. Cause I watch in in TikTok videos, um, um very informative, Ooh. but um, other type of videos that that is was disgusting 
So I believe that depends oh, it depends the, in everyone. It depends on the kind of videos. Yeah. Ah, okay. Let's see. Um, Postman, what do you think? Do you agree with them? Um, I think for for him it is good mm -hmm. because uh, he found uh, enjoy uh, he found something interesting and I think he enjoyed it. In my case, uh, <laughs> I don't like teacher. I don't like. So for you, <laughs> yes, should be banned. Yes, yes. <laughs> Atilio, how about you? What do you think? It's not there? Okay, Pamela, we have two people says no. I mean, and only one people say, only one person, I'm sorry, says yes. So what do you think? Should TikTok be banned? Personally, I think that TikTok is, it's a, uh... It's a good platform to to promote very things. If you want to something go viral, it's TikTok, the, the social media. So it depends the kind of information you want to you want to communicate or the message you want to give. Um, I I like TikTok. I had TikTok in my cell phone. And for me, it's useful. Sometimes I, I want to, to search something and uh, you put a topic and all, a lot of people is talking about that. So oh, um, okay. I, like to, I like to see videos of people traveling and, and recommend some, some places, some restaurants. So I have it. Um, how do you say guardados? Keep or save? Keep or save, save yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I saved some okay. videos to to know where to go uh, on weekends or, or some some things like that. So I think it's useful if you know it, how to use it. And maybe can be um, more supervised by ah, okay that's a good point yes yeah uh, yeah uh, personally uh, i think uh, tiktok can be used uh, for good or bad uh, it depends on uh, the use that is given like any network or social media. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, but uh, uh, how Pamela said, uh, uh, you can, for kids, I think they uh, you can uh, have uh, some uh, prohibitive restriction. Uh, right. Yeah, that's because true. it's another thing because you, you. You, you you can use this for bad or for good. That's true. Have you ever heard, guys, how TikTok works in China? In China, it's totally different. They use TikTok only for educational videos. Right. So it's correct. Some videos yes. are useful. Some videos are not. Maybe TikTok should be limited, right? Okay. Now you are giving your opinions. You see? Excellent. Now, the idea, guys, is to keep in mind the vocabulary. Try to use the expressions that we learned. So, because in this case, if you see, we are not saying just, ah, oh, I think, I think, no. Now you are using different expressions. And that's the idea. We need to sound more like intermediate and not just like basic because we are not basic anymore. Pretty good job. Unfortunately, we don't Very have well. time. Okay. So, guys, do you have any questions about this topic? About uh, expressing opinions? No. 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 In okay. my opinion, it's too late right now. <laughs> yeah, right now <laughs> it's time to sleep. But as always, we have a winner. Pamela, congratulations. <laughs> congratulations, Pamela. 
<laughs> so everybody, <laughs> have a good night. Take care and see bye you. Bye. 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 Good night. Bye. Night. Take care. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you. See ya. Bye. Okay, Pamela, you're the winner. How are you today? <laughs> Fine, teacher. How was your day? Busy or quiet? Today was a little busy at the office, but it's okay. I feel I feel a, a little tired, but but I'm bright. <laughs> <laughs> Wishing, wishing is Friday. <laughs> yes, just a little bit more tomorrow. Yeah, it's already Friday, so let's resist a little bit more. <laughs> yes. Okay, so Pamela, do you know that this moment is just to clarify some questions that you may have? So about the class, about the platform. So any questions that you may have? Any comments? Um, only I, I was working on, on the platform. Mm -hmm. And the the um, this this activity um, is the three point five. Okay, let me check. No, sorry. Uh, yes, the three point five. What we what I have to to write in the I I don't understand it. Okay, give me a second. I'm trying to open it up. 3.5, you said? Yes. Okay, let's see. The, it says a punctuation, but I don't know if I only have to write the, the number. Okay, give me a second. Is this the exercise? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Okay, now this is a topic that we haven't studied yet, right? This is in the unit number three, the ones that we are going to study. Uh, I'm not sure if tomorrow or on Monday. What happens okay. here is yes, um, we need to be careful with the punctuation. In this case, it says, we remove items from cartoons and packages. As a result, speakers are not able to find them when they need to. In this case, and, and we are going to explain this topic later, we have to add some commas mm. or some points. That's the key here. Okay. So um, I recommend you if you want to wait for this okay. exercise. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can give you the answers right now, but because of the time, I'm not going to be able to explain why is that answer. So mm -hmm. you can wait for this exercise if you want in order to get the solution because we are going to have two options. We can use comma or we can use a semicolon, right? Hello. And, and then the point. So it's going to depend that I'm going to give the explanation. So I recommend you to wait for this topic. Okay. Okay, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Um, do you have any other questions? Uh, I'm not really teacher. Not really. I I am good with the topics. I I don't have any any question. I think I I got the, the topics <laughs> that we we have studied uh, right now. Okay. So, I'm fine. <laughs> Very good. Excellent. So. Uh, the feedback that I have for you, Pamela, is very positive, actually. When I see you in the class, you are always ready to participate. I checked you during the breakup rooms. You are always giving your opinions. You are participating a lot. So very positive. I like that. And yes, I could see that you have been working on the platform. I can see the result that you have in the midterm. So it was very good and excellent score. Very good job. So um, as I mentioned, it just wait for the explanation for the topic that so we are going to check it in the unit number three so you can resolve the exercise, okay? okay. Pretty good. Okay, Pamela, thank you so much for staying. Keep going. You are doing a great job, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay, have a good night and see you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. Bye-bye.